So in this video we're going to be checking out an Agronomic GT chair. Here's the size of the box and the shipping label says 30 kilograms which is about 66 pounds. I went ahead and cut it open so let's go ahead and see what's inside. So right on the top there's a pretty thick cardboard with the picture of the chair with the mechanism looks like. It says desk mat so I guess you could use this as a mat for your desk if you wanted to and there's two sides to it. So we can see how it's packed very nicely. They even have this firm soft foam holding in the bottom foot base. And attention to detail on packing is excellent. We got a plastic cap on each corner and it's bubble wrapped. You guys can see there we got the polished aluminum version with the black seat. So let's go ahead and pull everything out. So here we have a box that says gas lift and casters. Again, very well packed. So I can see the upper portion of the chair. Well, actually it's the whole chair and it looks like it's pre-assembled already. So let's go ahead, pull it out. Oh, wow, that has some good weight to it. And there it is. And this is what's left in the box. We got actually these four corner pieces, like empty boxes and also a base there on the bottom. And here we have a box that appears to have the rest of our stuff in there. So yeah, very well packed and that's it for the box. All right, so these are all of our pieces. Let's go ahead and check out what's inside this box. All right, so we got the headrest looks like. Okay, it is. And wow guys, this is really nice material and craftsmanship. So we got leather here on the top and it is stitched beautifully. And then here we have a mesh material. Feels kind of like a nylon. It looks like we do have adjustability and function to this thing. Yeah, very impressed with the headrest here. and Can't wait to see the rest of the chair. Let's see what else is in here. Okay, so we've got some tools and I'm guessing this is to put this piece onto our main backrest. All right, so let's unwrap this thing. There's a little zip tie here. Wow, this thing is very nice. Just the attention to detail and design. Wow, I'm impressed with this chair. So we do have a few things under here. A big old silica pack for moisture and a user's guide, which goes over the general information, construction, parts of the chair and what they're called. And this is the Dvari or Dvari model, all the different functions and how to use them. Very nice. And also we got a little assembly instructions. It's quite simple and it should be quite easy to put together. All right. And if we flip this thing to the back side, you guys can see the main design of this chair it looks like a butterfly and they actually call it that because it looks like it. So absolutely blown away by the build materials because we actually have polished aluminum is what it looks like. Very impressive and quite heavy duty. And we got a lot of pivots and connection points. And even back here, it looks like we have some kind of a lumber support. So we're gonna take a closer look at the chair and all the functions. Let's go ahead and open this box and unwrap the base. All right, so we got the casters and the gas shock. So these look pretty nice, but they are all plastic appears to be, but it's quite heavy duty. And the rollers themselves here on the edge, you guys can see the shiny part, that's actually a rubber. Yeah, that's pretty nice. And we got little caps here. So let's go ahead and take this thing out. And that is all of them and you guys can see underneath, looks like a cast aluminum and then 
it is polished on the outside very nice and also we have a plastic insert which is awesome because most chairs they're just metal to metal so let's go ahead and flip it back around and we'll clip these coasters in at the end of each leg and actually guys these are actually supposed to be on there the rubber parts around because that's how they go in very interesting for sure i thought these would have to come out but they don't so yeah i'm just gonna kind of push them in there and they kind of slide in but i think if we just start them we can put the pressure from the top flipping it around so that's all five flip it around and now we can push them the rest of the way on each corner I'm guessing this is for noise because there's a metal to rubber to metal instead of metal to metal and so that it will eliminate noise and kind of bouncing around in there all right very cool so let's go ahead and put our shock in just like that and again i think this plastic insert is also for noise isolation between metal and metal and then this part here will insert into the middle of the chair into this pretty large looks like cast iron or aluminum this whole piece here very thick and chunky and i don't know how well we'll see it later but you guys can see we got cables running to the handles that have function on them and so all we gotta do now is insert that so let's go ahead and grab it and it goes right in there just like that and pretty much our chair is built all we gotta do is flip it over and there's a nice handle here to grab it and there we go so for the last part we got this headrest that installs on the back of the chair right here you guys can see the two holes with threads in them and this just lines up and then we got a couple bolts here with the wrench that we need to tighten them up and there's actually some instructions on the back of it and here we can see the two bolts and the wrench so let's get one started you guys can see there's like a little piece that pokes up and that actually inserts into the hole then we can put the bolt in and tighten it we got one started and do the other one we can go ahead and tighten them up nice and snug and that is it very simple and easy to do let's go ahead and cut this little tag off here and we're pretty much done with the assembly of the whole chair all right so let's quickly go over materials and functions and things like that so starting here on the top with the headrest we guys already saw how nice this part is it's leather we've got this nice stitched embossing very nice stitching here and the nylon fiberglass enforced breathable mesh so the headrest here has a few functions it can go up and down so if you pull on it it kind of clicks it's hard to show it with one hand but you guys can see it raises up and down and it also swivels you can see a little better here and also the whole thing down here swivels too you guys can see so if you're taller you can make it go up more and if you're shorter kind of lean it in and bring it in like that so yeah lots of adjustability here on the headrest so on the back of the chair we have multiple materials here we have plastic that kind of sandwiches the nylon here to hold it and you guys can see the pattern as it is a breathe through and this is another thing that's really nice about this chair is you won't get very hot in it as it does have plenty of airflow so i really like all the finishes much better than you would think and you guys can see the butterfly outline here of the design very cool we can see back here there's the lumbar support and it's like a little pillow that pushes on the back and you do pull it by these two tabs to bring it up and down you know that's adjustable higher and lower for me i usually like it for my lower back so i'd probably keep it all the way down so we got a heavy duty swivel here and you guys can kind of see it the way it moves and we're going to go through all the movements and functions in a second so yeah very heavy duty metal as part of the frame going all the way down let's look at the seating area so it also is the same mesh as the back so that's very nice because as you guys know that it'll be much better for airflow and the mesh itself feels very confidence inspiring and quite comfortable and conforms quite well so looking at these armrests very nice design you have this kind of a unique shape to them and, and the top part is soft so they do swivel out and then center and then in and with the button here they also go up and down and there are quite a few positions for that and underneath here we can see that these are functions so this one i believe is for the tilt so once you push it in it's actually locked in it tilts now and then you can unlock it but we'll see how that works here in a second and on the other one it's pretty much the same thing except this one here controls the gas shock that makes it go up and down if nobody's sitting on it obviously it's going to go up and then when you sit on it and you push it it'll press it back down and by the way the shock is a double walled gas shock so very safe and reliable and going back to the armrest maybe you guys can see i love the detail on the metal here underneath but also we got little logos here to show what the function does so this is like the lean back and forth and the other one's up and down 
Now, if you're sitting on the chair on the right side going down here, you guys can see there's a button here and this is the out of posture mode. So if you click this, a lot of things move together, the bottom portion and the back kind of all together. So as you're leaning, it all adjusts to your body kind of. And also this kind of moves the bottom seat portion here back and forth. Lots of linkages and connections and pivots on this chair. So we already saw those cables running around to the handles and they actually go into this centerpiece where we have the different functions underneath and also back there for the gas shock and it looks like also that it is adjustable there somewhat and here also for the cable on the tension and again guys all these pieces here are pivot points and you know this is one large piece of metal right here very nice and quite heavy duty so this handle here that sticks out is actually the tension adjustment for how much pressure there is on the backrest. So if you spin it the clockwise position, it'll tighten it up and the handle also goes in, so it's kind of out of the way. And if you go the other way, you're gonna loosen it up where it's much easier to lean back. So yeah, very convenient and quite a unique little handle there. So going down from the shock, you guys saw we have this base here, the wheels, very nice. It's all isolated and there's rubber between metal everywhere. Very cool. All right, so we got Mila here and she's gonna show us some of the functions of the chair. So we'll start with going up and down. So as you can see, that operation is pretty normal, and it's on the, this side here, which is on your right. And the other side is a lock-unlock, so if it, when it's unlocked, you can lean down. And it goes pretty far down, and then when you lock it, it'll hold it in that position, as you guys can see. So you can adjust the tension right here. So we're going to make it a little tighter and see if that makes a difference. Is it harder to push? Yeah, a little bit. All right. So on the back, you can adjust the headrest where you want it. So we can lower this just a bit and that probably will feel better. Perfect. And the armrest, they have four positions actually. That's one, two, three, and four. And we can go up and down here on both sides. And there is about four there too. So for the advanced features that automatically goes to your body posture is this button here. And right now it's off. It is locked also. So if you move back and forth, everything is stationary and locked. But once you click this button, the whole chair will lean and the whole bottom will move too. And if you unlock, you can go all the way down while also moving this bottom cushion back and forth. So. so when the backrest is locked, then it moves just the bottom. And when the backrest is unlocked, moves everything, which kind of adjusts to your posture. And actually guys, underneath the seat, this knob right here, adjusts the tension on how much this thing slides. And in the back of the chair, guys, we have the lumbar support, which you can reach from just sitting on the chair. And it looks like it travels about two inches and clicks four times. So yeah guys, that's pretty much all the functions of the chair and all the movements and functions are very quiet. When you're moving around, there's no creaks or any kind of sounds at all. It's completely silent. All right, so now we're in my office where I plan to use this chair and actually have been using it for the last five days. And overall, I'm really happy with it. So a couple things to note is that sitting on a mesh like this is something to get used to as it is a little bit more firmer than like a cloth cushion seat or even a leather seat with foam underneath. There's a lot more compression and give. Here, it's more of a firmer feel, but definitely not uncomfortable. But one thing I've noticed is that, let's say if you have a little crease on your pants while you're sitting down, that crease will actually be more pronounced and you'll feel it compared to sitting on a more traditional chair. Even with that, I appreciate this thing a lot more because of the breathability. And because this bottom cushion is also breathable and I live in a very warm climate, this chair is excellent. So yeah, guys, just wanted to show you here what it looks like in a more darker theme. And again, the looks are extremely nice. So yeah, this feels very high end and luxurious and also functional all in one. So if you always wanted the chair that stands out, especially this butterfly type design and in this combination here, this Divari bottle from GT chair is an excellent choice. They do have different colors, lighter fabrics. This being available in color instead of this polished aluminum might be a better choice if you don't like all the chrome look. But for me, I really like this kind of combination of metal and black. So if you do want to check out the different models and combinations they have, I'm going to leave some links in the description. So check that out. And if you want more details, I'll have some links to gtchair.com. And if you did enjoy this video, then hit that like button. If you do want to see more videos like this and other things I do on this channel, stay tuned for more. And as always, thanks for watching and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.